Hi and good day. I'm talking to the power lifters, the weight lifters, the squatters, the exercise person that just loves to, to work out. I'm talking to you. I'm mentioning something very important that you might have experienced. Injuries. Problems with your back, your neck, your knee, your hip your arm, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is you go to your clinician, your doctor, your therapist, and they tell you, you cannot work out anymore. You need to stop deadlifting. You need to stop squatting. You need to stop working out. I don't think that's a fair deal. I think the biggest problem is these people who are telling you to stop does not, they do not have the background in proper biomechanics. You can hurt your back, but still work the hamstrings. You can work the neck, the arms, the gastrox. You can work the other kinetic posterior chain muscles. If you hurt your back, you need to focus on working the glutes to strengthen the glutes, the hamstrings. If you notice that you have anterior pelvic tilt, you need to address the psoas because of the excess contraction. And the opposite muscles on the posterior chain that are weak. But the bottom line is, the point we're making today is this. Very few people know biomechanics. And biomechanics is so important. If you have an injury, you just don't rest that injury. The worst thing you can do for sciatica or low back or herniated discs is rest. It's proven that the erector spinae, that big muscle, is the fastest muscle to weaken if left alone. So when you have herniated discs, you don't want to rest. You want to stay active. Isolate other muscles by strengthening the kinetic chain. Balancing it with the anterior kinetic chain. Posterior and anterior, anterior they, got, they have to be equal. If something is over-contracted, you need to find out why. So instead of taking a muscle that you hurt, like your back, your neck, and just resting it and giving it therapy, that may be important to therapy, but the total rest, I disagree. You have to kick in and charge up those muscles around that area to support it, otherwise it's gonna to continue to get weaker. Or you're gonna to continue to have a relapse or a rebound because something else, kinetically, that's working together with it must be working the right way or other things are gonna be working the wrong way. So if you take away the physical ailment, you're still left with the emotional or the psychological component and the emotional and psychological component is as, is as important to you to live your life and to be content within yourself to find your balance if you can or cannot do that physical component. But when something is a part of you, it's hard to give up. Because if you give up what you love, the love of living is going to depreciate. So the message today is I'm a high believer in rehabilitation, but you must know biomechanics because everything works together. It's no different in the cardiovascular system. It's no different in any other system within our body that when one thing is weak, something else is going to compensate to make up for that weakness. Leave your messages below. Please share this video and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.